The health authorities decided to make people experiencing homelessness a priority when it comes to getting the vaccine. Problem is, when they came here to Kelowna's Gospel Mission on Thursday, most people said no. We were caught a little by surprise on Thursday morning when Interior Health nurses showed up with their bags of vaccines and started offering vaccinations to both residents and our staff. We were thrilled that they showed up. We we're very excited, but it was a bit of a last minute scramble uh, to make sure that we could let residents know that this was available. And so there was a lot of hesitation to accept the vaccine. Just how much hesitation was there? So we figure we probably, out of the 60 residents at Leon and the 50 residents at Doyle, we figured about 20 people got vaccinated. So that's what about 80% uh, rejection? Yeah, that's correct. At least one regular volunteer at the Gospel Mission says the problem is conspiracy theories. It's kind of sad. I see it sad because I wish it, some people would, would have that. Uh, you know, to change and say yes, you know, but a lot of them, they just have that negative. They don't want to have nothing to do. If someone came to you and said, hey, here's the vaccine, what's your answer? I would say no, because I don't believe in it. Um, well, like, I believe that it's real, but I just don't want to... Uh, yeah, I just, uh, yeah, I'd say no. A lot of the things that contributed to people saying no was one, they were surprised, right? So just having some advanced warning can help us roll this thing out better. It was a soft start. Uh, it's a difficult job, but so advanced warning can help so we can um, massage the messaging a little bit to our residents. One is um, we're going to take a lot more proactive approach on education. So there's posters going up around the shelters, educating people about the vaccine. There's some things that we can do also to make it less intimidating. So. A a lot of our residents um, have negative experiences um, that make them have a lot of aversion to anybody who's got a lanyard and a little ID tag. Anything that seems very institutional can be quite intimidating for our residents. So we can um, posture, we can position in such a way that is a much more comfortable um, experience for some of our residents. Um, also some of our residents you know, have a lot of mental health challenges that include anxiety and paranoia and it can be helpful to just have that one safe person with them, you know, having that conversation about making this decision. I think the big thing is that we shouldn't assume that everybody wants the vaccine and it's all about informed consent and so giving the opportunity to educate people so they can make informed, educated decisions about the vaccine. Yeah, from what you're saying, it sounds like we shouldn't take that uh, to, to tell us that 80% of the people have thought it through and have decided that they're afraid of the vaccine. It was more about a lot of that um, general distrust of the authorities. Yeah, and not to mention many of our residents, especially at the Leon shelter, they actually work during the day or they're out and about. So they weren't even there um, when the vaccines were there. And so there's just a misstep there, but it's a soft start. We'll give another go at it. Okay, well, thanks for your time today. Yeah, my pleasure. Anytime.